few kilometers from Voy Town along the Mombasa Voy Highway. Here we join a team of carbon credits experts from Wildlife Works ready to take data of trees around this section of the forest. Their aim is to ascertain the amount of carbon dioxide that this forest can absorb from the atmosphere. 6.7 Joshua Kitiro gives us a brief of the process. We go up to our point read zero uh, on this GPS. That's where our plot is. Uh, from there, uh, we have a long metal rod where we thump, we thump it in. Then we find our magnetic north using a, a compass. Uh, after identify our magnetic north, uh, we move uh, around uh, on a circular motion, measuring each and every tree within that, that radius, which qualifies to be more than five centimeters by the track diameter. Measurement of how much carbon a tree is able to absorb is taken. We have trees which are forked, and we have trees which are single stemmed. Uh, for for single stem trees, we measure all trees at 1.4 meters from the ground. Uh, the diameter point is at 1.4 meters from the ground. Then we have forked trees. This is a bit complex for measuring. It depends where the fork starts. If the fork starts at 0.4 meters uh, from the ground and there is no any other split uh, as you go up the tree, then we measure at 1.4 from the ground. 16.7. A record of every tree and shrub is taken. We have three classes of shrubs. We have class 1, which is Gruya class, and then we have class 2 and 3. Class 2 is Kodia class, and class 3 we have a efficiency class of shrubs. First, on our data we have to record a tree botanical name, tree height, canopy diameter. Uh, that's to identify a canopy cover of that area. Then we measure the trunk, and if the tree is either living or dead, uh, status of the dead trees, of which that's, that's also important for us, for carb carbon calculations. The sale of carbon credits in Kasigao project has helped community projects, like provision of water, among other benefits. Pesa tukipata, uh, kamati yangu ya inaitwa uh, Kasigau Locational Carbon Committee. Hii ndio inapata pesa kutoka kwa ufadhili. Ikija tunaketi na hiyo kamati tunagawanya pesa ya mradi, alafu tunagawanya tuna pesa ya basari. Kama hivi kuna tanki linajengwa hapa kwetu Itinyi ambalo litaweza kuhudumia jamii kama watu karibu mia saba hivi watapata maji kutokana na huo mradi. Tulikuwa tunachota maji from nowhere paka hapa. Lakini tunashukuru sasa hii Wildlife Works umetuletea maji hapa. Msitu wa hapa tunautunza kwa sababu watu hapa waliambia msikate makaa na miti, mpande miti kwa wingi kwa sababu mkata hii miti tunapoteza carbon air. Greenhouse gases that are released into the atmosphere cause a blanket like layer which hinders sun rays from reaching the earth thus causing global warming. Global warming causes disasters like flooding, drought, warming of the sea, outbreak of diseases, among other catastrophes which affect humans. Greenhouse gases are as a result of burning fossil fuel, coal mining, transportation, among other causes. Trees are good at absorbing these gases from the atmosphere. This makes trees conservation one of the best ways to absorb greenhouse gases. Carbon credits are paying to groups or individuals who conserve forests by emitters like those into burning of fossil fuel. Mangrove trees are seen to be 10 times higher when it comes to absorption of carbon from the atmosphere compared to terrestrial trees. Communities living along the coastline and are involved in mangrove conservation like Mikoko Pamoja Nikwale County and small. During this year's COP26 in Glasgow, Scotland, African countries were pushing for better pay in carbon trading from developed countries as they are the highest emitters. Our forests, our savannas, our mangroves and swamps, our coral reefs, and our marine reserves are the carbon sinks of the world. Indeed, they are the basis of the very oxygen that we breathe every day. 
and yet that great public benefit that the African ecosystem provides to the world has not yet been fully acknowledged and it is neither sufficiently protected and we have certainly not been compensated for it. Africa suffers more from global warming, despite that the entire continent only contributes 4% of greenhouse gases. Restoring and protecting these carbon sinks can help also create hundreds of thousands of critical green jobs, drive enterprise away from destructive forms of land use, can help us tackle poverty, combat illegal white wildlife trade, and also prevent future pandemics and ensure that the diversity of life on which all depend continues to endure. For people to have that to be sustainable, we want to see how, for example, people can actually get value of, their, of the trees they have actually planted. And this is actually through a, a process of uh, uh, carbon credits. So that, for example, that uh, we can actually plant more trees so that it can actually take care of uh, greenhouse gases that we are actually talking about in terms of uh, as, uh, absorbing it. A push for better pay in carbon credits will benefit communities living near forests, thus improving their livelihoods and boosting conservation. Dan Kaburu K24, in Taita Taveta County.